Hello, 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 and welcome back to Crystal Henry TV. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Crystal Henry TV. I am so excited that you have joined us for this sixth session. Have you not enjoyed the amazing history of Professor Gaynell Gaynor? Because I sure have. Um, this information about radiology technology has been unheard of. And it's time for the silence to be broken. It's time to acknowledge what a phenomenal um, founder, creator, um, and trailblazer that this um, beautiful woman is. Now, we are going to continue on with her Blacknificent history. So let's welcome Professor Gaynell Gaynor. Hello. Good evening. I'm so happy to be here to share my story and thank you for listening. Awesome. We are so excited to have you. We're going to here. we're going to be dealing with the 2000s. We're going to be dealing with the 2000s. We finished with uh, 1999. <laughs> and so um, I'm excited to hear about the adventures, the um, uh, education, the doors that were opened unto you in the 2000s. So without further ado, would you please start with um, 2000, 2001? What information would you like to give to us? Well, the millennium um, did cause a lot of um, a little tension because people did not know what 2000 was going to bring. And of course, you all remember that in 2001, 9-11, and uh, we were just stricken by the news and people like myself, many of us saw it. I was up getting ready to go to work that morning. And I must say that um, I really thought that um, peace was going to remain all over the world because for two weeks, people came together and that yeah. was significant. And then of course, when 2002 came, guess what happened? 9-11, well, I had a site visit. Two site visitors came to San Antonio and arrived at the airport on 9-11-2002. I said to myself, what were they thinking? The airport was desolate. There was no one there but essential workers. And of course, they were really utterly surprised themselves that, that those dates, 9-11 and 9-12 were the dates that were used for the site visit. But nevertheless, I prayed and we were able to get through of those days of um, the evaluation. Um, these people represented the Joint Review Committee on Education and Radiologic Technology. And um, so they were able to visit the uh, hospital sites in San Antonio and Bear County and beyond. They were also able to see the entire campus the um, site visit went well. And um, to make a long story short, we were uh, given um, until 2010. Mm, okay, uh, excellent. 10 of, years the max, of certification. Almost. Okay. And, which means that another site visit would not have to take place for the next uh, class, the, the next program director until 2010. And I was projected to retire in 2005. So I felt very good when I got the news in 2003 that we had the full accreditation uh, period of, uh, like you said, over five or six years. Excellent. So then during this period of 2003, what stands out for me is that I was identified as a past president to uh, present the Wade Hoots lecture. And I explained in the last series um, what 
that is. But this person is a past was a past president, and he was deceased. He was an excellent uh, role model for radiologic technologies, and um, we honored his name, Wade Hoots, with me speaking on professionalism in the field. And I want you to know that I use uh, students. There were four students used in, in the skit that accompanied, that accompanied my presentation. And we did get a standing ovation at the end. And uh, that was held in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So I'm very proud of that achievement. And um, the title came to me one morning as I was stepping out of the shower. I prayed on it and it took like almost two weeks for me to decide, you know, what the subject uh, and title was, would be for that Wade Hoots lecture. So it was not something I put together in a few days. Yes, and what an honor. That was such an honor to be able to speak and, and honor Wade Hoots in such a way um, that, that is amazing and a great opportunity uh, or a great door that was open for you um, to be honored to speak for um, at the Wade Hoots, at Wade Hoots. So that's- Yes, amazing. at the Texas Society of Radiologic Technologists um, annual meeting. And um, another thing that uh, I'm reminded of in 2004, mm -hmm. the um, CAS students, which the acronym means Cooperative Association of States, uh, states of for scholarships mm -hmm. and those students that uh, were in San Antonio from Central America to name a few countries that are suffering right now El Salvador uh, the Dominican Republic Honduras um, there are a couple of more but I just want you to know that they successfully graduated and went back to their respective countries in 2004. Excellent. And was a grant program that, that excellent. I wrote in, granted and that on 1995, 96 I wrote that grant. Okay so from 96 to 2004 that grant. There were several classes yes they would come and spend 18 months to two years in the United States, they had to take English or ESL, English as a second language. Mm -hmm. And then we incorporated a leadership course with radiography technology being their major concentration. And of course, we um, had some public health courses included because, you know, uh, diseases. Yes that were prevalent in those respective countries. Yes, excellent. So that brought you through to 2004. What happened in 2005? Well, in 2005, I began to wrap up and pack up all of my office materials, curriculum, books, everything it, that was really, <laughs> something that I had to go through because after spending spending 35.2 years at St. Philip's College, you know that I had, a, I had accumulated a lot of books, records, paraphernalia that I used um, in the area of radiologic technology and imaging in general. Yes. Just so at the end of that period, yes. So at the end of that, that period, the, um, at that time, the Alamo Colleges, which it's called now, was called the Alamo ACCD, Alamo Community College. Yes, I remember that. Well, it was in conflict, that acronym was in conflict with Austin Community College. Mm. So they changed the, the acronym to Alamo Colleges. But uh, we as a retirement uh, group, um, still on our paperwork use ACCD. Absolutely. Yes. So that's amazing. But they recognized me, yes. Uh, I did receive um, a beautiful, um, I would say it's it was a resolution statement on a plaque and uh, they recognized me for being the founder an initiator of the radiography program and writing the curriculum for ultrasound. 
And I was so excited to get this document and it did recognize me. They did recognize me for the NPSP program, which was the grant that I wrote for the students from Nicaragua, as well as CAST, the students I just spoke about. And, uh, but they did fail to include uh, the fact that I had written a curriculum for CT and MRI. And there was no mention of me being the catalyst for uh, St. Philip's Community College, as it's properly called, being the first community college in the nation with the designation of being HBCU. And that was um, established in 1987 and in 1989, they added the additional uh, rec uh, designation of being Hispanic serving. Yeah. So I'm just very pleased uh, about the recognition and they, they did um, give me the honor of the title of Professor Emeritus, even though I was had earned a professorship at the college through the grants and the programs that I started. A Professor Emeritus means that you are accomplished in your field and you are entitled to get um, a special tag for your car. You can mm -hmm. come on campus at will and you have mm -hmm. the rights and privileges of a full-time faculty member, if that's how it was. And they even gave me a statement um, that said so. So I was very humbled by that. That is so excellent. Um, with all the contributions that you made over the years, your ability to write grants that um, change the lives of your students by being able to come to America, get a education and graduate and go back um, to, to, their respective to live right and in their respective countries. Um, that's amazing. It is, it confuses me as to why there is no building, no lab room, no office, no street, no bench, no bell, no tree that has your name on it. Um, it, uh, it just, I, I don't understand that, but. Well, with this year being the 51st year of mm -hmm. radiography technology, perhaps they're waiting for that special time. I'm hoping they won't wait until I've expired. <laughs> I hope not either hope. <laughs> because your contributions have been great. Um, like you said, you spent over 35 years um, instructing, leading, guiding, creating, program directing. Yes. Program directing. You um, led uh, a staff of other instructors. So you have just been innovative and creative for all of your 35 years of service at St. Philip's College. Yes, with um, God's help. And I did have some supportive faculty. There's always, you know, you can't please everyone. Exactly. And I understand that. So yes. for those persons so, who were not supportive, I did not hold it against them. I just continued to ask for God's strength to order my steps. Absolutely. And that is that's like a, great. That's how I got through. <laughs> yes. So with all of your achievements, I understand that you got the Professor Emeritus Award. And then didn't you also get um, a, another keepsake? Oh, yes. Uh, in 2007, now when I retired, I was um, asked by several other uh, colleges in Texas to serve as a consultant, of which I did. And I simply was asked, invited back to St. Philip's College to serve on the advisory board. And I'm very pleased about that. So I'm, I'm still rendering service as a consultant, as well as serving faithfully on the advisory committee for radiography, technology, ultrasound, CT, and MRI. So for that, I'm, I'm able to stay sharp <laughs> and uh, contribute to the programs there at St. Phillips College. And uh, for that, I'm very grateful. So in 2007, um, the students that were in place and between 2005 to 2007, they were given the uh, task of designing a coin. 
And I forgot I did not pull that coin out and, and look at it this week. But nevertheless, it, it is a coin that uh, when we have a presentation at some point, it'll be projected. But it does have on one side, it has uh, uh, my name with the year 1970, and it has uh, Professor Gaynell Gaynor on one side. And on the other side, it has the program, um, Radiography Technology, St. Philip's College. And it has a, a beautiful um, logo that's indicative of the program and the profession and emphasizing excellence. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So it's a coin of excellence that I received. And uh, I and am- well, well, well deserved. A Thank coin you. of excellence and the, the obstacles that you overcame, you definitely um, are a professor of excellence. So we um, are excited about um, finishing your 2000. Um, you were, you, it, you never really retired because <laughs> no, they, we will come back with session seven and we will have all your volunteer years. We wanna talk about how you volunteered, not only were you a mother of two daughters, a wife of one husband, and you were still married for over 55 years. Yes. You also volunteered, you were a woman in the community. So we don't want to um, just end with your retirement because you kept going. And even today you are still going. So we wanna save that um, volunteer information for our seventh and final session yes. and we appreciate you just pouring out your life your accomplishments your amazing amazing accomplishments for oh for all of your life over 60 years span of your life you are just a phenomenal woman um magnificent woman and is there anything else that you would like us to know about the years of the 2000s um, before we finish and then go to your volunteer accomplishments? I just wanted to say that that 2007 year, not only did they present me as um, one of the, the first recipients of the coin of excellence, but they did pass on the coin to other full-time faculty that were in the program. And um, they also are holding it for any students that have exemplified excellence in the program. That would be like one male and one female student uh, every uh, two years or so. So that is an excellent uh, accomplishment. And I was so humbled by their recognition of me as um, the first program director and master teacher for radiography technology. And thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the next and final session. So am I. So again, thank you so much for joining Crystal Henry TV on YouTube. I hope you have enjoyed this magnificent history about radiology technology in San Antonio, Texas, um, under the direction of Professor Gaynell Sapinter Gaynor um, out of San Antonio, Texas. Again, thank you so much for all your contributions and we appreciate your history. Again, thank, thank you. you for joining. Thank you very much. And I must say that the program is in great hands with um, a wonderful uh, professional lady, um, Miss um, Poise, Yolanda Poise. And she is the program director that has been serving for several years, almost 10 years, the time has flown by. Yes. And I look forward to the next session. Thank you so much. Thank you.